Hello, I'm John Lucy, and today I'll be discussing the project that myself and Daryl O'Connor completed called Visualising the Study of Ordinary Business of Life. Uh, for this project, we were tasked with taking two photos of different businesses or companies that we believed were involved heavily in everyday ordinary business life. Uh, so we decided to use a picture of a bus and bus stop and a supermarket. So firstly, we have the bus air and bus stop. Uh, we believe this is relevant to everyday business life because thousands of people every day use bus, uh, bus air and bus services to travel uh, to and from work or school or about their lives uh, using the cheapest mode of transport in Ireland. Um, and they also employ hundreds of drivers and ticket salesmen around Ireland. And it's also the most environmentally friendly uh, way to travel around Ireland, taking many uh, cars and other modes of transport off the road and decreasing uh, fossil fuels use. Secondly, we have the supermarket, which we believe is relevant to the ordinary business of life as they supply um, essential goods um, for everyday use and which we take for granted and actually have a big effect on the way we live our lives. Secondly, they employ not just the people behind the deli, but they also need people to supply, grow, make and bake the goods that they sell, um, which spreads and distributes um, the money made around Ireland and maybe even around the globe. So now I'll pass you on to my partner, Dara O'Connor, uh, with the weather. Oh, sorry, I mean the reflection of our team work throughout the project. Thank you for that, John. So as John said, my name is Daryl Connor, and today I'll be taking you through reflecting on development as a group during the project. So firstly, I believe I should take you through our previous history. John and I worked together previously on the first group assignment of this module, and um, we had some difficulty with that, so we felt it was very important to get this assignment right. We've been friendly from class, sitting near each other, and in between breaks in class, where we developed a more personal relationship, which also helped. Uh, we shared assignments in EC1107, so we would spend time in the library together, once again strengthening our professional relationship. Next, working together during the project. We agreed we would finish other assignments so we could fully concentrate on this and give it the attention it deserves. The time the assignment handed out, there was a lot of other assignments going on, so we felt if we got them out of the way, then we could fully concentrate on this and it would benefit us a lot more. So next, we organised meetings that best suited both our schedules so we could maximise efficiency so we could get things done uh, the quickest way possible and the most efficient way possible in order to get the highest marks. Next, we worked in tandem on the charter and found we had similar values and ideas in how to proceed. Uh, this is very important as if we had different values and different ideas, then we'd be clashing a lot and we wouldn't work together well as a team and we would perhaps um, have to get the lecturers involved in order to sort it out. Next, we democratically divide up the workload so neither of us felt under pressure or that we had an unfair amount to do. This is also very important as um, if one person felt they had more to do, there would be a lot of clashing and the relationship would be um, very unprofessional. Next, we helped each other when we fell into difficulty. Example, I, um, I failed to come up with um, a title for my work. So John and I brainstormed together and John helped me come up with one, um, which benefited both of us really. So to conclude, we had a previous relationship which benefits starting the project. We had similar values and views which helped us agree on how to proceed with the project. And we helped each other in order to complete the assignment to the highest level possible so that we could both get the best marks and proceed to next year. Thank you very much for taking time to